Hello, Math Talino students! Welcome to Math Talino Classroom. Ngayong araw, pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba ipa-factor out ang polynomial na isang difference of two squares. We'll start with this simple activity. Give the product of the given sum and difference of two terms. For the first one, Correct. It is equal to x squared minus 16. For the second one, Right. It is equal to 4y squared minus 1. For the third one, Alright. It is equal to 4x squared minus 25y squared. And for the last one, Good. It is equal to x raised to the power of 4 minus 49y squared z squared. From our previous activity, let us take the first given. We have quantity x plus 4 times quantity x minus 4, which is equal to x squared minus 16. Ang quantity x plus 4 times quantity x minus 4 ay tinatawag nating product of sum and difference of two terms. Dahil kung mapapansin natin, pareho ang kanilang first terms, ganun din ang kanilang second terms. At ang dalawang factors ay separated ng plus at minus signs. Tandaan na magkapareho lang ang ibig sabihin kahit na unahin natin ang may plus o di kaya ang may minus sign. On the other side of our equation, ang product ng sum and difference of two terms ay tinatawag nating difference of two squares. Bakit? Kasi ang first at second terms ay perfect squares, which means you can find a number or term that when multiplied to itself will give you the first and second terms. For instance, the first term x squared is equal to x times x and the second term 16 is equal to 4 times 4. Isa pang palatandaan, ang first at second term ay separated ng minus sign. That is why, again, it is called a difference of two squares. Since alam na natin ang product of sum and difference of two terms ay isang difference of two squares, mas madali na natin ifa-factor out ang isang difference of two squares by just reversing the process. Ano nga ba ang mga procedures sa pag-factor ng ganitong klaseng polynomial? To factor a difference of two squares, first, determine the square root of the first and second terms. And second, rewrite the polynomial as a product of sum and difference of the roots of the first and second terms. Para mas lalong maintindihan ang steps, let's give an example. Factor x squared minus 25. Applying the first step, Square root of x squared is x since x times x is equal to x squared. And square root of 25 is 5 since 5 times 5 is equal to 25. For the second step, we now express the given polynomial as a product of sum and difference of two terms. The square root of the first term is x. So, the first term of our factors is x. Also, since the square root of the second term is 5, the second term of our factors is also 5. Hence, the factored form of x squared minus 25 is quantity x plus 5 times quantity x minus 5. Remember, that the order of the factors does not matter, which means we can also write the factored form as 
quantity x minus 5 times quantity x plus 5. For the second example, factor 9 minus 4y squared. Again, applying the first step, square root of 9 is 3 since 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And square root of 4y squared is 2y since 2y times 2y is equal to 4y squared. Finally, we now express the given polynomial as a product of sum and difference of two terms. The square root of the first term is 3. So, the first terms of our factors is also 3. Also, since the square root of the second term is 2y, the second term of our factors is again 2y. Hence, the factored form of 9 minus 4y squared is quantity 3 minus 2y times the quantity 3 plus 2y. Or, it can also be written as quantity 3 plus 2y times quantity 3 minus 2y. For the third example, factor 25a squared minus b raised to the power of 4. Applying the first step, square root of 25a squared is 5a since 5a times 5a is equal to 25a squared. And the square root of b raised to the power of 4 is b squared since b squared times b squared is equal to b raised to the power of 4. Finally, we now express the given as a product of sum and difference of two terms. The square root of the first term is 5a. So, the first term of our factors is 5a. Also, since the square root of the second term is b squared, the second term of our factors is b squared. Hence, the factored form of 25a squared minus b raised to the power of 4 is the quantity 5a minus b squared times the quantity 5a plus b squared, which is actually the same as quantity 5a plus b squared times quantity 5a minus b squared. For the last example, factor 9m squared n squared minus 100. First, get the square root of 9m squared n squared, which is 3mn, since 3mn times 3mn is equal to 9m squared n squared. And the square root of 100 is 10, since 10 times 10 is equal to 100. Finally, we now express the given as a product of sum and difference of two terms using the square roots of the first and second terms. So, for our first terms, we have 3mn. And for our second terms, we have 10. Hence, the factored form of 9m squared n squared minus 100 is the quantity 3mn plus 10 times the quantity 3mn minus 10, which is again the same as quantity 3mn minus 10 times quantity 3mn plus 10. Now, the steps that we have followed in our examples can be shortened by familiarizing this general formula. If we have a difference of two squares of the form a squared minus b squared, its factored form is always a product of sum and difference of two terms, quantity a plus b times quantity a minus b, or quantity a minus b times quantity a plus b. The order does not matter wherein a is the square root of the first term and b is the square root of the second term of the given difference of two squares. 
we need to remember that a sum of two squares with no common monomial factor is non-factorable. It's already prime. Like for instance, x squared plus 49. Kung makikita natin, ang first at second terms ay perfect squares. Ngunit, sila ay separated ng plus sign. Ibig sabihin, hindi na natin siya pwedeng i-factor out kasi nga, prime na siya. Let's have more practice. Factor each polynomial completely if possible. If not, write prime. For your hint, Apply common monomial factoring first, if possible. Let us discuss the answers. For number 1, it's obviously a difference of two squares. So, its factors must be a product of sum and difference of two terms. Alam natin na ang square root ng 16a squared ay 4a. Ibig sabihin, ang first terms ng ating factors ay 4a. Ganon din sa 9. Ang square root nito ay 3. Ibig sabihin, ang second terms ng ating factors ay 3. Therefore, ang factored form ng 16a squared minus 9 ay quantity 4a plus 3 times quantity 4a minus 3 or pwede rin quantity 4a minus 3 times quantity 4a plus 3. For number 2, hindi siya obvious na difference of two squares. Pero, kung makikita natin, meron pa siyang common monomial factor na 2. So, if a factor out muna natin ang 2, at makikita natin na ang remaining factor ay isang difference of two squares. Which means, we can further factor it. Applying the steps that we did, Square root of r squared ay r. Ibig sabihin, ang first terms ng ating factors ay r. Ganon din sa 4s squared. Ang square root nito ay 2s. Ibig sabihin, ang second terms ng ating factors ay 2s. Mag-ingat, dapat kasama lagi ang common monomial factor na nakuha natin sa ating final factored form. So, the factored form of 2r squared minus 8s squared ay 2 times quantity r minus 2s times quantity r plus 2s or pwede ring 2 times quantity r plus 2s times quantity r minus 2s. For the last number, Notice that it's a sum of two squares. So, it's already prime or non-factorable. Do you have any questions about our lesson? If none, test yourself by answering the following. You may pause the video for a while to answer and comment down your answers when you are done. That's all for today class. Goodbye!